Thank you for joining us, Somaya. Now, you're working on becoming an all-inclusive oil company, dealing with both supply chain, upstream, downstream, and infrastructure. Tell me more on what is being done to actualize this. Currently, we are what we call an integrated, a vertically integrated oil company, which means we are in all sectors of the business. Downstream, which is the retail sector, where we have retail stations. Um, midstream, which deals more with infrastructure and depots and terminals and upstream which is now dealing with the oil exploration itself. So in Kenya we are actually currently the only fully vertically uh, integrated company. What we want to do now is enhance our status within, um, within all these areas so that we move into acquiring much larger positions in the different areas and really entrenching our position as the market leader uh, as far as uh, being vertically integrated is concerned. So um, downstream, we have had a very aggressive uh, expansion program that has seen us grow in a span of about um, five years or so from six petrol stations. Right now, we have 102. And over the next two years or so, we are looking to double this number to go to about 200. As far as midstream is concerned, um, we already have depot. We have um, LPG uh, storage and filling units. We're looking at opening up more depots. And now we are moving into large-scale strategic infrastructure projects. So we're going to build another jetty for oil. We've just finished the feasibility uh, for that. And um, we are now soon going to tender out for partners to build the, the single boil mooring. And um, we are also then going to start the process of uh, putting up strategic petroleum reserves. National Oil has become the first indigenous firm in the region with a permit to discover or rather to explore oil, having been allocated a block by the government. Tell us more about this initiative. This initiative was informed by the desire to really build local capacity in upstream. And the situation before was that um, government through National Oil has a backing interest in all oil exploration blocks in the country. But that is when commercial uh, discoveries are confirmed, which means that throughout the initial process of the exploration works that is going on, you're not on the table or you're not in the field. You come in later when commerciality is confirmed. And so we took the decision that for us to build Kenya's capacity, we have to be on the ground from day one. And so we applied for our own block. We actually went through the process that any oil company does. We had to prove what would be our work program. And I'm pleased to say that so far, we're very happy with the progress. Um, we've just finalized acquisition of uh, FTG, where we had an aeroplane here flying the full tensor gradiometry. Uh, we are waiting the results, and at the same time, we are now tendering for our seismic. So we look forward to conducting our own drilling campaign within our block, probably in uh, 2015, and to being the first indigenous Kenyan company to discover oil within Kenya. With commercialization, how are these dynamics of oil and gas discovery expected to impact on East African economies? East Africa was uh, always uh, anticipated that it was going to be the last frontier for oil and gas because, uh, you know, everywhere else, uh, the big oil, the easy oil had been found. So really the last remaining frontier was East Africa where we hadn't yet made our discoveries. and. Um, from our own study of our geology and our basins, we deemed it to be just a matter of time. And I think um, you know, that, that has now come to pass. Uh, this is our time. And the potential impact on the economies of the region is just tremendous. Because when you look at the size of the discoveries, if you look at the gas that has been discovered by our neighbors, Mozambique, for instance, if you look at what is happening within Tanzania, within Uganda, and now within Kenya, you know, the discoveries are really world-class um, discoveries in some instances. And, and we believe that as we seek to put the appropriate systems in place, that this will lead to transformation of our economies. What risk does neighboring Somalia pose, considering its proximity? I, I think that the recent efforts that we have seen within the region um, really to help bring back you know, stability and peace to, to our neighbor Somalia um, will result in positive impacts for all of us because um, the reality is that um, the, the benefits of having peaceful neighbors across the region cannot be understated. And so as Somalia seeks to 
stabilize itself now and to grow and enhance its own economic activities, we, we foresee a lot of positive benefits to us and to the region. Going forward, what are national oil strategic plans? Plans are um, to be the market leader. That will see us um, aggressively expanding our retail outlets across the country. And now that, uh, you know, that with the new constitution um, going into a county system, we intend to be in every county in this country. And so we have quite, um, quite an um, aggressive expansion program in that regard. As far as midstream is concerned, uh, our plan is to put up depots and facilities in different parts of the country to really enable us deliver the fuel and the services competitively and efficiently across the country, as well as to move into quite a bit of infrastructure projects, both within and outside the region, and, uh, and of course to enhance our participation in um, oil and gas exploration activities. And finally, Sumaya, what is the general outlook for 2013 with reference to the mining industry in Kenya? The outlook that we are uh, anticipating for the country um, a lot of increased investment as far as um, the different oil and gas sectors are concerned, uh, all the way from seismic programs to drilling programs. That has uh, a lot of knock-on effect on other sectors of the economy as well, from you know accommodation to catering to, to finance. And so we anticipate um, a significant increase in activities within this particular sector.